Yes, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to the channel. We have got a massive transfer video this evening. Before we get into it, make sure you go down two things. Drop a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. We are very close to 16.3k. Now, Fabrizio Romano, even though the English transfer window has closed, we have got some big, big news, people. As you can tell by the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about Tango Undombele and Davison Sanchez. Um, we're going to go first to Undombele, the guy that I've been so critical on is finally, potentially leaving. And the tweet says from Romano, Tango Undombele to Galatasaray. Here we go. Like LA Knight. Agreement with Tottenham in place over a loan deal. Undombele has already completed the first part of his medical test and he will fly to Istanbul later today. A buy option is also included. Potentially, I mean, he's had, what, two or three loan deals now. This is his third loan deal. He's been alone back to Lyon. He's been alone to, uh, to Napoli. Now, the Napoli deal also had a loan deal in it with a buy option. Obviously, that didn't materialize. But finally, potentially, we will be getting rid of Indon Bele. This guy has been arguably, him, him and Richarlison have been two of the probably worst transfer bits of business we have done in recent years. £60 million, £200,000 a week. All the technical ability in the world. This guy, let's be real, let's be completely honest. All the technical ability in the world. So, 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 so talented, right? On the ball, his movement, the way he can drop the shoulder, his passing range, his ability, his feet. Like, it's majestic, the ability he has. But he's never, ever, ever, ever fit. He's lazy. He turns up to training late. You know, if, if this is one of the bits of business that Andrew's driving forward, I am 110% behind this. If Undon Bele is actually going to move to Galatasaray, well, we got the here we go. If the buy option... He's also included, according to Romano. Uh, he'll fly to Istanbul. He, he, he tweeted this out. Uh, there, there he is. He tweeted out at 2.23. Um, so that was five hours ago now. So he probably already is in Turkey as we speak in Istanbul. Um, but Galatasaray fans, that they will not take lightly to this. You know, you've got to be... They're, they're a very, very, very passionate fan base, obviously in the Champions League as well. Um, but they won't take lightly to this late to training, you know, um, lazy attitude. They will be on him like a tramp on hot chips. They will be all over him like a cheap suit. If he if he tries to do this with, with Galatasaray, that's not the sort of place you want to go to and start messing the fans around. They're very, very, very passionate fans. And Galatasaray are building a bit of a squad now. They've got Icardi, they've got Wolfred Zaha, they've got a few other players now. Um... You know, they had Zaniolo uh, not too long ago. Now they've got Indon Bele. It looks like they're, they're, they've been linked to a few players as well. The Turkish, the Super League has been linked to a lot of players now throughout Europe. But it looks like, you know, Galatasaray are getting their man. But not only are we getting rid of Indon Bele, there's a buy option in there. If they if they take him off our hands, you know, that that's Rodon that's gone out on loan. That's Spence that's gone out on loan. That's Indon Bele that's gone out on loan. We've got big, big news coming out from from Sanchez in a couple of, in a minute or so. But you know, all of a sudden now, the transfer window is still not perfect for me. And I will be doing a stream talking about this tomorrow. It's still not perfect for me. It's still not great. But there are a few things in there that I do like. We have got we have loaned out and Don Bele with a buy option, right? Um, we have obviously loaned out Road and we have loaned out Spence. Both those deals have got a buy option as well. But still, the fact that we didn't replace that centre-back and what I'm about to read out in a second is a bit worrying as well. As much as I've been very, 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 very critical of Davinson Sanchez, but I dropped a video on this earlier and I don't know, like I've got mixed feelings about this. Um, this is the news. Davinson Sanchez also to Galatasaray. Here we go. Agreement reached with Spurs on a fee between 10 and 15 million with add-ons included. Understand Sanchez will sign until June 2027. 
I understand medical will be in the next 24 hours in Colombia. Of course, it's on international break, so that makes sense. He's part of the Colombian squad. But this leaves us now with three senior centre-backs in the squad, and that's including Eric Dyer, who doesn't look like to be any part of Ange Postacoglu's plans. So, yes, as, as I am absolutely buzzing that Ange Postacoglu has got rid of Davinson Sanchez, overstayed his welcome by five or six years, an absolutely terrible centre-back. And I am glad to see the back of him. But at the same time now, we've only got three senior centre-backs in our squad. And one of those is Eric Dyer. So if we do, hypothetically, get an injury to Romero or to, to Van der Ven, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know. It looks like Dyer is not in the plans. So does that mean Ashley Phillips is stepping up? I, 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 listen, as much as I am happy about it, I'm also very much on the fence that now we are one injury away from potentially a meltdown. Potentially a meltdown. Like, we've seen how important, um, we've seen how important, you know, Romano has said how important that Postacoglu's management is. And the fact that, you know, we've gone down to three senior centre-backs, does that mean Dyer's going to put, you know, be back in the squad? Michael Bridge, the Sky Sports reporter, has said a few things here. He said, uh, Ashley Phillips has impressed Ange Postacoglu and will be a permanent member of his team. So it looks like he's going to be one of our options um, if we do get an injury to Van Der Ven or Romero. Those two have got to play every single game now. They have to play every single game. Like they, they have to. If we if we if we, you know, start doing what Arteta is doing and start making some rational changes, we're in big, big, big trouble. Uh big, big trouble. You know. I don't know, guys. Mixed feelings. As much as I wanted Davinson Sanchez to go, now, if Eric Dyer potentially is gonna come into the squad. I don't know, big, big question marks there. This is the guy that's barely played any football all season, barely played any football all pre-season, hasn't played in, or featured in any of the five games, even our cup defeat, where we made nine changes. He wasn't in there. Um, I don't know, guys. I'll be honest. Is this, the, is this the correct decision from the football club to get rid of Sanchez? Absolutely. But the fact we don't have a backup, show, I'm going to show you the bench we played against... Um, this is the bench we played against Burnley, obviously in our 5-2 win. We were very, very good, by the way. Very, very good. But as you can see, you know, Ben Davis, Phillips, Sanchez are there. Perisic, Royale, Richarlison, Hoiberg, Skip, no Dyer. You know, in our bench, um, we played against Fulham in the Cup, where we played, you know, our starting eleven was... Van der Ven and Sanchez on our bench. You know, Romero. There's no there's no Ashley Phillips or Dyer. In our bench against Bournemouth, where we won 2 0 away from home. Obviously Van der Ven and Romero starting again again there. There's no there's no Eric Dyer. So for me, third and fourth choice centre backs are probably going to be Ben Davis and Ashley Phillips, which is great because I don't want to see Dyer anywhere near this team. But let me know, have we have we made the right decision? Letting Davinson Sanchez go now. What what would have been the best situation would have been to let him go in the in in the summer window and bring in another centre back to replace him who's better. But at the moment, guys, I think we are one injury away from a complete meltdown. Like credit Daniel Levy where credit's due. You've got rid of Sanchez. You've got rid of Indon Bele. You've got rid of Lucas Mora. You've got rid of Joe Rodon. You got rid of Winks. You got rid of Sanchez. You've got rid of Lloris potentially, but player for player, we we have less numbers in our squad, and that's great. That's great because we've only got one competition a week, and I've all been about you know trimming the squad down, but maybe not trimming it down in an area where we are already quite light already. I wouldn't mind seeing the back of the back of um, 
you know, Eric Dyer, um, if we were to catch Sanchez. But now, like, are we at the point now where we need to be keeping Eric Dyer? I don't know, but our squad, our centre backs especially, are very, 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 very light. Very light. We have three senior centre backs and we have five centre backs in our squad. Now that that's great, but that means we only have um, that you know five centre backs is great, but that means we only have to choose from four players because Eric Dyer might not even be picked in our twenty-five man squad. And I don't know about you guys, but in terms of our centre backs, we've got Ashley Phillips, Dyer, Van der Ven, and Romero. Ben Davis is obviously by trade is a fullback, but he's going to be playing there. Do, is this a situation where we have to we have to promote someone from the youth team, take a chance, get a bit of belief in them, promote them into the first team, and Ange gets his arm around them and then says, "Hey, you've got the ability to do this. You're in the academy for a reason. You've you've worked hard. Now you get your step up." Or I don't know. Is this the right decision just to be selling? Davinson Sanchez right now. I, I'll i be honest. I, I, I'll be honest, guys. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, I personally don't think as of right now that was the right decision to do. Two or three weeks ago in the window where we had time to go and get someone, absolutely. But we spent a lot of money in that window. We spent around... If you take out Brennan Johnson... Uh, sorry, if you take out... Regulon and Kulazewski, we spent about 160, 170 million pounds. Now that's great, but we only brought one centre back in. Now we've just sold Sanchez. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to put a negative spin on it because I'm trying to be positive. But one injury away from an absolute meltdown. Um, if if I if I'm Postacoglu, as much as it's great to get rid of Dyer, I would try and promote someone from the youth team who could benefit us and has the ability to step up. I mean, I don't know if there's anyone off the top of my head, but I don't know. Like, we're, we're playing well. We've won four out of our first... Uh, we've won three out of our first four games. At 10 points out of a maximum 12. Fantastic start. You know, three wins. Scored the second. Uh, us and Man City combined. I've scored the highest amount of goals in the league. There's a lot of things to be positive right now. We're moving in the right direction. You know, Spurs, Dan Kilpatrick, Spurs decision makers have been left absolutely baffled after Hugo Lloris um, rejected several approaches. Now, we were all told in the summer that we were going to rip contracts up. We were all told that we were going to be ruthless. We were going to do this. We were going to do that. This is the point now where we have to rip up Hugo Lloris' contract. We've got four goalkeepers in our squad. Austin, Whiteman, Lloris, Vicario, and Forster. We've got five goalkeepers. Rip up Hugo Lloris' contract. What is, he's not going to get any game time whatsoever. He's literally going to see out his contract and not even get it on the bench. Like, just move on. Move on. For him, go and go and finish your career elsewhere. Don't sit on the bench, not even on the bench, sit in the stands at Tottenham. Like, I don't know. Free, I, I don't know, people. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Is it the right decision to sell Sanchez? I don't know. I'm very, very, very 50 50 on it. Let me know down below if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts on all the topics we've, we've covered. Make sure you do like, make sure you do subscribe, sorry. See you all soon. Thank you all for watching. I am out.